Welcome back. You know, there are a lot of uncertainties surrounding when and if certain places can reopen during this pandemic. And to answer some of those questions out of Pinellas County this morning, we are live right now with St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me on this morning. And you know, a lot of us are really trying to focus on those social distancing guidelines these days and to really abide by them. You're even closing places like dog parks and tennis courts to help stop the spread. But county officials may be talking about reopening the beaches this morning. Where do you stand on that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they ultimately decide against it. You know, we don't, we don't really have a lot of beaches uh, here in St. Petersburg. Uh, but what happens around the county and what happens on those other beaches, it impacts us. Those people that may go visit those beaches uh, will come to St. Petersburg. And, you know, if, uh, if, the, if they get infected and, and they have the virus, they're going to bring it to us here. So we, we'd prefer that, uh, that the decision be made to not open them at this point in time. You know, and I know a lot of folks and small business owners are really itching to get back open. I did notice that you commented on one of our tweets last night about the president's comments on reopening the economy. You basically said you're going to get St. Pete back open on its own timeline. What does that look like right now, or do you even know? Uh, we, at this point in time, we don't know yet. You know, we, we need to get past the peak, which has been uh, the latest uh, date we heard was April 26th. Uh, we need to see the curve be, you know, flattened out. Uh, and then we can start talking about uh, what a phased in reopening would look like. Uh, I think it's important to plan for that. Uh, but I think if you put a date there, uh, it's artificial. There's no substance behind it. Uh, at this point in time, and, and I think that that misleads the public. And you know, at this point in time, it's important that we don't mislead the public. That we're very straight up with the public on what the expectations for them should be. Um, th th that's the way you get the best compliance. Talk to me a little bit about the Fighting Chance Fund. I know that you made a, another announcement this week about that. How many folks have applied so far for this? Yeah, we're over 1,800 applications thus far, both on individuals and on businesses. Um, you know, and I and I can't say thank you enough to organizations like uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks and the Glazer family, and uh, Jeff and Penny Vinnick, uh, and uh, the Milky Family Foundation, who've contributed uh, to our fund. We were seeding that fund with 6.8 million of of uh, funds that we received back. Uh, from FEMA for uh, our losses during Hurricane Irma, uh, but the, the business community is stepping up also to help our small businesses, and I think that's fantastic. All right, Mayor Rick Kreisman, thank you so much for joining us today. Stay safe and stay healthy for us, okay? Thank you, and you, we're all safer at home. Thanks so much. Well,